Non-fungible tokens or NFTs have been one of the absolute biggest trends in blockchain technology over the past six months. You know, we've seen the Beeple Art Collection sell for $69 million, CryptoPunks sell for millions of dollars a piece, and we've seen lots of other projects hit the scene and gain a ton of following, huge valuations really fast. Now, while this is great for the small number of NFTs that really dramatically rise in value, there's lots of other use cases for NFTs and smaller NFT projects that are really being held back by one major factor, and that's the gas fees on top of Ethereum right now. But there's a huge solution for this that I want to talk about today in this video that can unlock the potential of different NFT use cases and level the playing field for smaller NFT projects out there. This is a major breakthrough for the Ethereum ecosystem. And this is something I want to talk about today as a blockchain developer who works the Ethereum protocol on a daily basis. So before we get into that, if you're new around here, Hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to learn how to become a blockchain master step-by-step -step, start to finish, then head on over to adaptuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. So if you've been watching this channel at all recently, or maybe you've been paying attention to the blockchain space the last, you know, three to six months, you've seen this NFT craze take off like a rocket ship. But if you're just joining us for the first time in this conversation, you know, NFT stands for non-fungible token. This is a digital asset that's different from a cryptocurrency that can power a number Number of things. Some of the biggest use cases right now are digital collectibles and digital artworks that are provably scarce in the blockchain that you can actually own when you hold this non-fungible token. We've seen it with artwork, we've seen it with trading cards, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But there are lots of other NFT use cases like, you know, tickets to, you know, concerts, sporting events, you know, insurance contracts, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, that have a little bit of a blocker right now, and that's the fees on top of Ethereum. So that's what I was saying a second ago, where Ethereum is going through scaling pains right now, and it can be expensive to send NFT transactions. So if you want to buy an NFT or you want to send it to a wallet or trade it, you might spend, you know, a hundred plus dollars doing all those things. Now, if you're flipping a $50,000 crypto punk, you may not care that much, but for the vast majority of people, they don't want to do that. And it also hinders the adoption of NFT technology for, you know, much smaller use cases. So how can you fix that problem? Well, I've been talking about that a ton on this channel, which is layer two scaling solutions. But today I want to talk about a very specific layer two scaling solution that I haven't talked about before that's purpose built for NFTs. So really quickly, what is layer two? Well, this is building a second layer on top of the base Ethereum chain that we use right now to offload some of the activity and do a lot of extra computation right here and then settle the final result on the main Ethereum chain and drive security from that way. So there are lots of different layer two scaling solutions that are racing to market, try to fix this problem because it's a massive pain point for all the apps in the Ethereum ecosystem right now. But the one that I want to talk about today that I think is really bullish for this specific use case for NFTs is Immutable X. So why am I so excited about this? Well, we'll look at all the technical details here in a minute, but we're starting to see Immutable X already gain adoption among some really prominent projects. So this news article came out last week. Uh, I talked about some of my live streams that we do Monday through Friday in this channel, so make sure you check those out to find out about this stuff as soon as it comes out. But I'm gonna make this video to explain this and why this is such a big deal. So NFT Marketplace OpenSea to add Ethereum Layer 2 protocol for gas free trading. So let's unpack that headline for a second. So OpenSea is the largest NFT marketplace right now. So first and foremost, a majority of the NFT activity is happening on top of the Ethereum network right now. There are of course there are other chains that are seeing some adoption of NFTs, but still a vast majority of us on top of Ethereum. And OpenSea is the largest NFT marketplace where you can buy and sell NFTs powered by Ethereum. So that's the first thing to think about. Most NFTs are on top of Ethereum. OpenSea is the largest NFT marketplace and they are going to adopt layer two scaling solution Immutable X for gas-free trading. So what does that mean? Well, if you're brand new, essentially anytime you make a transaction on top of Ethereum, let's say you send a cryptocurrency around or you buy an NFT, you send it around, you're paying a gas fee to the network and that's paid in Ether. So these gas fees have gotten really high, but this layer two scaling solution that's purpose built for NFTs enables gas-free trading for this particular use case. And that's exactly what they're doing on top of Immutable X for OpenSea Marketplace. So we can see here, integrating Immutable X enables us to offer gas-free trading experience without sacrificing the Ethereum network security. And they're rolling this out for future game developers and players on OpenSea who will benefit from this scaling solution. So how does this work? Well, let's take a look at Immutable X and see, you know, what it is. So it's, you know, the first layer two for NFTs on top of Ethereum. So it's purpose built for this particular solution. So think about all the things that can benefit from this, you know, NFTs, just like digital collectibles that you might buy and sell on, you know, OpenSea, for example, maybe trading cards. But also think about in-game assets, because that's something that can be huge, in my opinion, for blockchain long term is if you can, you know, either earn assets in a game, buy assets in a game maybe with cryptocurrency, and then transfer those assets actually outside of the game. That's one of the use cases of blockchain technology is the creators of the game no longer own these assets that you 
would own these assets and it would be powered by this neutral blockchain network that other people have a responsibility for running, not just the creators of the project. That was honestly one of the big aha moments for Vitalik Buterin, the mastermind behind Ethereum himself, when he was getting into blockchain technology. He was talking about playing World of Warcraft during 2007 to 2010, but one day Blizzard removed the damage component from his beloved Warlock Siphon life spell. He says he cried himself to sleep and on that day he realized the horrors of centralized services. So that's one major use case we could see take off is these in-game assets move to blockchain. But in order for this use case to actually you know, grow legs, then we have to get over this gas fee issues. But that's exactly what Immutable X is. And so it was actually born out of a specific game. So Gods Unchained. So Gods Unchained is created by Immutable. And these are the same people who are creating Immutable X, the scaling solution purpose built for NFTs that's you know going to power Gods Unchained. So Gods Unchained is really cool. I highly recommend you go check it out if you haven't already. It's a pretty big project. You know, built by 40 people, headed by Chris Clay, the former director of Magic the Gathering Arena. So it's a play-to-earn game where players can earn collectibles over time, and they can make money by trading those collectibles, including the unique NFTs, which can be proven by the blockchain. So this particular use case is really going to ramp up with Immutable X. And so let's look at some of the benefits that it provides. So first and foremost, it's zero gas fees for peer-to-peer trading. You can set your own trading fees. It's non-custodial, so you control your private keys the entire time. You can get scalability up to 9,000 transactions transactions per second. It's not a centralized side chain. It supports ERC-20 tokens and ERC-721. This is the main standard that powers non-fungible tokens or NFTs. And it derives its security from Ethereum. It's a true layer two that actually does this. So that's really important and goes back to what I was talking about here a second ago. So we have a layer two here. And some people say, why wouldn't we just use this? Why do we need this Ethereum layer one here? Well, it's because this layer two actually gets its security from Ethereum layer one. We need this to be here in the first place in order for any of this stuff to actually make sense. And so how does this layer two scaling solution work and how does it differ from some of the other ones that I've talked about on this channel? So uh, previously, I've talked a lot about optimistic rollups with optimism that's, you know, got delayed, but it's going to be here pretty soon for, you know, whitelisted users and also for everybody else later in the summer. So that's with optimistic rollups, but Immutable X works a little bit differently. So you can go check out this blog post here to read all the details, but I'll call out some really important parts. So basically, whenever you mint or trade an NFT on Immutable X, you pay zero gas and the validity of all transactions are directly enforced by Ethereum's security using zero knowledge proofs. So that's really key here is it uses these zero knowledge proofs to actually get the security. So you might have heard of ZK rollups. Okay, so that's different from optimistic rollups. So that's part of what we're talking about here. So they're saying they're going to allow users to choose between Validium and ZK rollups via a system known as Volition. So that's the important thing to understand here is that this is a layer two scaling solution that works differently from some of the ones I've talked about on my channel already. It's not the same as optimistic rollups. It actually works fundamentally different under the hood with zero zero knowledge proofs. And so this is a major breakthrough and I'm super excited to see where this goes. Okay, this has to get battle tested and we have to see what the market really does with this solution, but I'm I'm excited about this. A lot like I was with Optimism when it was first announced. And so here's why. Like don't forget, layer 2 scaling technology is going to be really important for Ethereum really for the long term because a lot of people are excited about Ethereum 2.0 as they should be. That's what's going to get the blockchain ready for prime time to really enhance the scalability of the base Ethereum chain as well. You know, we're a part of this multi-phase rollout for Ethereum 2.0 right now. We're in phase zero, but we have a few more phases before we get out of this, move to proof of stake and have this blockchain that's ready for prime time that can be much more scalable. But layer two scaling will increase the scalability and will also really help out the gas fees. That's a major part of this equation. And so we're going to live in a layer two paradigm even when Ethereum 2.0 fully ships to further optimize the blockchain and get it ready for this massive scale that we need in order to have a world computer smart contract platform that can process you know, a crazy amount of transactions a lot like you know modern credit card companies and things like that so that it can accommodate all this different activity from people doing DeFi over here from people doing NFTs over here. And so we're going to see lots of different layer two scaling solutions come out to gain adoption and like solve those problems. And we're going to see a lot of competition in this space. Some people will solve it one way. Some people will solve it a different way. And that's honestly a really good thing. It's part of the decentralized ethos. We need this competition so that the technology, first and foremost, becomes better and becomes more secure. It provides an opportunity for the best technology to actually win. But number two, it preserves a decentralized ethos of having multiple ways to do things. Even if you have two things that are approximately the same, 
in terms of their performance and their usability, it's still good to have a few different ways of doing things to preserve the decentralized ethos of Ethereum and also just blockchain technology as a whole. For a few reasons, one, it removes a single point of failure because don't forget these layer two scaling solutions aren't Ethereum. They drive the security from the base Ethereum layer. So while we're in this experimental phase, if one doesn't work out, having a second one is a better likelihood of success in that case. And then also it removes the possibility of something becoming centralized, which introduces, you know, a power dynamic into the system that's really antithetical to the decentralized ethos to begin with. But at the end of the day, I do think that we will converge on a, just a handful of different scaling solutions for Ethereum. I don't think we'll have like hundreds or anything like that. I think there'll be a small batch of things that gain wide adoption that people actually use. And this is one in particular that I'm excited about right now because they're so quick to market. They have a very thorough implementation and it's purpose built for a very prominent use case on top of Ethereum right now. So that's all I've got for today. As always, smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm if you haven't already. Subscribe to this channel. That really helps these videos out so that more people can learn about blockchain. If you like these videos, you're as fascinated with this technology as I am and you want to get your hands dirty today, and like build your own NFT, your own cryptocurrency, your own blockchain project, then how can you do that? You can go to my YouTube homepage. You can find any of my free courses there, like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. You like those? You want to the next step? Or hey, maybe you'll take a master shortcut entirely. I should become a blockchain master step-by-step -step start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. Okay, you don't have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real-world blockchain developers in a matter of months. All right, so that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.